All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with an unboxing, this time of my new uh, Nintendo 3DS XL retro NES version. All right, so in addition to the uh, Nintendo 3DS, I also got a whole bunch of games, like one, two, three, four, six, seven games all together. So it's pretty crazy. And uh, I'll just let you guys look at the games. I'm not gonna unbox them in this video. I'll wait, I'll save that for uh, later. So yeah. All right, so first game up is Pokemon Heart Gold. So yeah, definitely uh, gonna be catching up on some Pokemans <laughs> soon. So we got Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon X, Pokemon Black 2. Uh, the last Pokemon game I got was Pokemon White, so I decided to get Black uh, 2. Uh, Tetris Axis, because I love me some Tetris. Uh, Ultimate Ness Remix! Where is it? There you go. <laughs> Sorry about the glare. Um, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, of course. And last game, Pokemon Al Alpha Sapphire, which is the newer one of the bunch at the moment. So, anywho, now that you see what games I have, I'm going to be getting into the unboxing. Uh, so here is uh, the box, and I really love this box because it, it just looks so cool, and I'll show you. So here's the front of it, so you got the uh, original uh, NES grill over here. You have what the uh, 3DS top part looks like. Um, my only complaint is that uh, this isn't upside down over here, so that way, you know, if you have the thing flipped up, it looks like, you know, an actual controller from... Uh, the outside perspective, but uh, just but a minor uh, complaint. Um, so anyway, so yeah, you got the grill on the side right here. <laughs> I forget which uh, side I'm on. So yeah, the little grill right here. Here's the bottom part, which gives you like warnings and stuff like that. Uh, you got the top part, which continues the uh, original NES tradition. You got the little oh, side, little thing right there. Continuing on. Uh, the right portion here, or the left portion here, I should say, has a little controller there. It says uh, Retro NES Edition, uh, stuff like that. So, um, but then you got the other side, which has the uh, old uh, cable inputs right here. I keep forgetting this is mirrored. So, from looking at it on the monitor. Um, so, uh, we'll get into the back right here. Get it nice and good. So, if you guys need more time to read it, uh, feel free to pause the video. I'll give you a couple seconds and then we'll move on here. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the uh, gist of the box. So, now let's get it to uh, opening this bad boy. So, oh, <laughs> this is cool. So, um, just right from the get go, if you look real close, it says, Now you're playing with power old uh, NES uh, tagline, so that's pretty cool. It's a nice little twist there. Uh, ready? Lay it down flat here. Gotta make sure it's everything's still in frame. Uh, I think this is actually my first unbox with the uh, the GoPro. So, yeah. Alright, so get everything out and uh, start explaining some things. I think that's it for the box. Put that up there. Get to you later. So right off the bat, you have um, like warranty info, an AR card. You can play AR games. I don't know what that is. Some kind of thing. So you got a little card right there. Uh, tells you about it. You know, like warranty and stuff like that. Uh, manual, whatever. So that's the side. You got your little AC adapter thingamadoobop. Right here, pretty cool. Put that up to the side, and we'll get into the real nuts and bolts of this. Put that off to the side. Piece of cardboard. So we have the Pista Resistance, the 3DS XL. So take it out of here. That's so cool. Love the look of this thing. Um, yeah, so I'll let you guys have a little look at it from the front perspective. Um, it's got a very minimal shine here. It's just kind of um, enhanced because they got front-facing lighting. 
but it's actually a, a fairly dull looking finish, which is good. Um, got your uh, trigger buttons up here, of course, uh, where you put in the cartridge, a little infrared remote reader thing, charger butt thing. Uh, I think this is something, I don't know if this is made for like an expansion pack or something like that, a little dongle thing, the doohickeys here. Um, here's the back, kind of goes with that old school uh, NES uh, gunmetal gray look, it's a bit shinier. And you got the uh, left side here, which has the uh, little volume switch, or not switch, but like a little thing. Uh, you got the little wireless uh, function right here, which uh, does that. It, it's not like an on-off kind of thing, it just kind of flick it up. So, um, Going from the bottom here, right in this little corner here, you have a little SD card slot. Right here, this bright red thing is uh, the stylus. Pretty cool. And then, uh, let's open up this bad boy. Da, 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 da. Cool. So yeah, you got your typical uh, Nintendo 3DS XL stuff. Um, the buttons are actually uh, matte, a mat nice matte finish. They're not very slippery, which is good for uh, the long time game playing. Uh, this, the uh, little analog stick here is like a soft rubber, which is nice. Um, control pad is oh so familiar, but a little bit more concave. I don't know if you notice that here in the camera but it's actually like concave in the middle there it's kind of interesting I don't know if that'll help with ergonomics or whatnot but eh, it's there so instead of the uh, usual select start like I'm used to there's a home button in the middle power button off to the side here um, kind of used to it being like down here but it's whatever you know just press the button and do your thing um, it feels very nice in the hands very uh, ergonomic, especially here in the in the corners, which I like. So it doesn't feel uh, overly massive, which is uh, one of the things I was worried about uh, when I bought it because I didn't. I wanted a bigger screen so I could see, because you know, some of these other games, a lot of the stuff involves a lot of attention to detail and whatnot. So um, I just wanted the XL version versus the uh, regular version. Uh, just because of that fact, and plus I heard like playing Smash Brothers on a regular size 3DS is just kind of, eh. So, anywho, uh, moving on to some of the features, uh, you got your little headphone jack right there. I don't know if I covered that yet. Uh, power button, charge, or not power button, but, like charge lights, things like that down here. A uh, little thing for a, uh, uh, what do they call like a lapel, like a little lanyard, lanyard. Sorry. <laughs> uh, English fails me today. Anyway, so yeah, a little thing for your lanyard you put in there. And, uh, yeah, your volume. You have a little 3D knob, which you can pretty much turn all the way off, which is what I'm going to do. And it actually, I don't know if you notice that, it kind of clicks into place there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, well, one more thing I wanted to cover before we uh, wrap things up is uh, the cameras here. So you have a little camera up top. Then you have uh, two right here, which I guess is supposed to create like a little 3D image or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually wondering if you can make videos on this thing. I heard you can. I haven't really seen anybody do it, but <laughs> I think I might want to try it out just for the shits and giggles. So expect that to be coming soon if it is a possibility. So I think that wraps it up for this little unboxing here. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now, making you guys. For tuning in to my unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS XL and uh, my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending your friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Now, let's see if I can play this thing. Mm, holy shit, the graphics. <laughs> Bye.